Hello and welcome to another edition of Conversations with Eric Williams. I am an independent candidate for U.S. Congress, District 30, Dallas, Texas. Joining me today are a few residents of Sand Branch, Texas, just 14 minutes from downtown Dallas. It was formed as a freedman's slave town in 1878. Sand Branch has been without drinkable running water for decades. In addition to lacking clean drinkable water, Sand Branch has no street lights or waste disposal services and is also in a food desert. Sand Branch is a predominantly black community and has an average income of $721 a month. It's often been called the poorest community in Dallas County. It has been 155 years since Major General Granger came to Galveston, Texas to inform enslaved black people that President Abraham Lincoln had abolished slavery two and a half years earlier in secession states by signing the Emancipation Proclamation on June 19th. It has been estimated the cost of bringing a water system would be a steep $6.5 million to Sand Branch, but residents say Congresswoman Johnson has once again failed them after promising water in 2018. This is environmental racism and injustice at its highest level. And for all the years Congresswoman Johnson has been in that seat, no water has come to the people of Sand Branch. The federal government's role is to regulate and create policies pertaining to water quality and access to sources of water. Congresswoman Johnson sits on the Water Resource Subcommittee, which serves as the Oversight Committee, but has failed the people in her own district. Should I be elected in November, I will promise that an atmospheric water generator system be installed in Sand Branch to use solar technology to bring clean, drinkable water to people in Sand Branch at no cost by extracting water from the air and in this systematic racism. Black Lives Matter. We need to know why they have gone so long without clean, drinkable water, which is a human rights. This is a violation of the Clean Drinking Water Act of 1974, and it needs to end in 2020.